Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura and today we're going to be working on the plastic beaded cross stitch and let me get my needle in here so I don't have to worry about where the heck it's at. So how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's getting ready for their weekend. Let me show you how much I've completed on this. I'll draw it back. I finished the first rows and then there's like two roses right in here. I'll show you on the, the thing. So I have to get through these two roses before I can ever get to my pansies. And I think there's a, a pansy that's kind of wilted. You know how it kind of closes up right here. So yeah, that'll be pretty. But nope, it's this way. I'm sorry. My bad. So I finished this rose and so we're working on this one right here. Yeah, so it's been a pretty good day. It was actually my day off, so I am so excited. And I like how this is going. Um, I went to Walmart. Whoops. Hang on, i got to bring you in now. And then bring you forward. Oh, geez, sorry. Okay. And then you'll see where I'm at here in a minute. This thing's a little tougher to work on when I'm on camera. But so far, so good. But it didn't take me any time at all to finish um, the first rows. And then I started working on this. Um, it seems to go pretty fast because it's using up more space than the, the glass beads ever did. So that's helpful. But I just keep doing one color at a time and working my way up. And the only hard problem I've had, I don't know that the camera will even pick this up, but right, see where this brown is? Right below it is like light blue. And it's, I'll move you over just a tad so you can see where I put those beads. These beads that run right along here is where the light blue is. So they're really hard to see. I didn't even know there was a third color, you know, like dark brown, medium, and then this really super pale blue. So I finally got that all done. Because I, I mean, and it really didn't affect the pattern because I knew what colors I was going after. You know, I mean, I wasn't doing it in the row. But, um, yeah. So, like I started to say, it's been an exciting day. I went with my daughter and my granddaughter. We finally got to go to lunch. We went to Wal uh, we went to Walmart first, and where else? We had to go some. Oh, we did some errands here in town. We had to mail some stuff, and uh, after we got done at Walmart, we went and had lunch at uh, McDonald's, which was good. I wanted to go to the the big restaurant, but. Well, we were there, and it was one of those days, so we just decided to eat at McDonald's and forget it and go home. We were both kind of tired, and she's had this same crap as I have about three weeks ago, and so she's still kind of dragging, and I'm still coughing, but uh, It seems to be getting better. I can at least lay down at night without having 15 coughing fits. But uh, I haven't uh, broke into that other uh, kit, the one that came on that weird cloth. I'd kind of like to see how that works, but yeah, this this is going good. So I'm just going to kind of stick with it for a while. And of course, I tried to go get a different one on stupid AliExpress and my stupid credit card wouldn't let me and I have lots of money in there because I just got paid but um, I don't know what their problem is I'm about ready to give up on their crazy tush I've just about had it but I, I like how this is going I forget what it was. Oh, dear Lord. What was it? I don't even remember what it was. I found another kit. They, uh, if you go to M Makishka or Makeshka or however the hell you say it, Lovely Store, um, just type in uh, beaded cross stitch and 
you should find stuff from them. And there's also a place on AliExpress where you can uh, type in the name of the store. but And it's on my uh, YouTube channel from the last unboxing. Between the unboxing and the last uh, stitch in time with me, um, I copied and pasted the, the name of the actual store. So if you go to the actual store and you go under products in their store, at the bottom of the list, it'll say beads or maybe say beaded cross stitch, something like that. It begins with bead is the first word. And click on to that. It'll take you right to their beaded embroidery uh, kits. And uh, it's still on there. I don't. I didn't see if it was available or anything. I really wasn't paying attention to that part. I was just looking for the actual kit, this one. And um, so they have a few more. There's probably eh, 25 to 30 more. It just depends what you're into. They have flowers and animals and kind of cartoony things. And uh, but uh, I'm really impressed. I mean. From a distance, you can't tell that those aren't glass. And it's going to be so much easier to frame. You won't have to have about a 30-pound hook to put it in when you hang it on the wall because the other one would be so heavy. But, yeah, I'm, I'm liking the way that this is going. Well, yeah, that's great. I just went in the same hole that I went down. I'm special that way sometimes. Sorry, guys. So yeah, we had a good day, and my granddaughter had fun. We always tell her we're going to go treasure hunting when we... Oh, we went to the um, other near-new shop that they have in uh, this town where we go to our Walmart. So we had to stop there, and she got a few purchases, and I bought her a little bracelet with some octagon -y type beads on it, you know, and it came on an elastic... Uh, what do you call it? You know, it was all thread it on to elastic so you know you just open it up real wide and then you put it on your wrist so she liked that she thought that was cool and then when we were at Walmart we bought one of those little tiny bird houses it was probably oh no bigger than that and she's gonna come over uh, I think next week and uh, paint with, at grandma's house and get to paint her bird house so we talked her into that. She didn't want to have anything to do with stringing beads on a plastic string yet. So we decided not to push our luck. So I thought maybe she'd like enjoy, you know, stringing pony beads on a, a necklace. But no, she wasn't having that. So she likes to paint, which is good. So we'll, we'll drag out the paints and put all the diamond painting and um, stuff away. And that way... Uh, Nothing will get paint on it because she, we're kind of sloppy when we paint. And I've, of course, got 10,000 kinds of glitter around here and and stickers and everything else. So it'll be a fun grandma day. And then I'll have to do the same for my grandson. But he gets to go to a boys and girls club. And uh, she's not old enough. She has to be, I think, five or six to go to boys and girls club. They just don't have it geared, whoops, sorry, for uh, little little kids. And she's four. She'll be five in May of next year. So, so we, we'll hold off. We enjoy taking her to lunch because she's really good. You know, she just sits there and eats what she's supposed to eat. She doesn't throw any fits and doesn't want to get up and run around. So she's never been used to that. So she's used to going to lunch with mom and grandma and having to behave. Oh, hell. Did you see that? That was just exciting. I just got that in a snit before I ever got it down through the freaking. Now it's all. There we go. And these beads, they don't go very far on this material, thank God, if I could just get a hold of it. I had to cut my nails for work because stuff was. cheese was starting to get under my nails and it was kind of driving me nuts. Okay, so we're going to get a different color here. Let me see. You can see. Maybe. We might have to. Still been watching Grey's Anatomy. I'm up to season 10. So I watch four or five episodes. And 
then it, it just puts me to sleep because I've seen them all a hundred million times but uh, it's something to watch when I don't feel like watching a movie and I, it's something I can turn on because I know who all those characters are I don't have to see their faces and since I've seen it so much I know practically what's going on but uh, yeah the other night I was on so much NyQuil I've been watching Grey's Anatomy and I started having dreams about the people that were on Grey's Anatomy and how they were trying to get me to do so and so and this and that and it wasn't even anything to do with medical because it is a medical show after all but no it I don't know so yeah I think get stuck on one thing but I know it's really hard to believe you know after you've seen all this nightmare come through here you know I don't stick very long but uh, it's something I can put on I can go diamond paint or I can do this or whatever and uh, not have to be right on top of the screen because invariably it never fails I always get some kind of a foreign movie that I gotta read subtitles and sometimes oh well pooey hang on guys that was already stitched see these squares are so it, so big you can't tell the beads covered it but once you get it all covered you can't even see where the print was oh maybe at the edges or something but not too bad and I'm gonna take it and uh, put it in cold water it didn't have any instructions like that and if they did it was in Chinese um, but um, I'll just treat it like I would anything else but yeah I'm just impressed with this thing to pieces and I'd really like to get a couple more but you know how that goes oh god and I wanted to buy a it was a diamond painting I think I saw um, kicking cancers but you know Ella and uh, she had done, gotten a peacock and it has some special gems in it hang on just a second guys sorry about that I had to go get my G2 I was dying of thirst it's either too much coffee or too much pop and after a while you just kind of gotta get something to drink that's different where is that freaking hole and you really don't want to have too long of a a thread with this thing because it likes to get hooped around the threads oh and I was watching uh, Lovecraft forever and she was um, working on a beaded cross stitch that she had gotten in Ukraine when they were there. I believe that's where she's from, I, I want to say. Um, I think last year, she said. And she was showing everybody. And it was on that material. So, evidently, this is the American way to do this. And then the silky material is the European way to do it. I don't know. I, I mean, that from the way she talked... That was kind of the gist of the story that I got. But uh, she also showed how to uh, anchor one of, uh, like, if you're just starting a bead. And I don't remember. I don't think I could demonstrate it. But you'll have to go see Lovecraft Forever, and it's all one word, on YouTube. And she was doing a, a tutorial on uh, bead stitching. So, I'll have to try out that other kit, but I really don't want to get it out because I'm having so much fun with this one. I like this because it, it's making progress. I, I love my cottage. Don't get me wrong. It's just so pokey. It takes forever. And uh, I put the, uh, when I kitted this up, of course, they're, all the beads are not, I think I went up. Uh, gonna fit in those little containers because they are quite small but they're really good for beading and I like using the lids to put the beads in. And that way I can just stick my needle in and grab a bead because you can see it and then you just brace your your needle against the wall and that way it won't fall back off except when you get too short of a thread. I've had that problem. Um, but I put the rest of them in a baggy over here let me show you let me get this back let me just tie this off because it's getting too short here hang on guys 
we're getting there. Let me put it over there so I don't lose it. But I put all my beads in these bags, and you really got to watch these bags. It's like, let me see if I can show you one. It's like from being shipped, they got melted together, so it takes forever to open it. I was having a, a pain in the ass, so I finally took it this way and opened it this way, and it worked a little bit better. On some of them, I had to absolutely cut. You can see the static. Whoop. See the static? They're just jumping all over like Mexican jumping beans. But, uh, put them in here, and I try not to move this bag along, and I wrote what it was for, the plastic be beaded flowers, and I wrote the date that I started it, or what month. And that way, you know, 20 years from now, I'll go, gee, look, I started that back in 2019. Yeah, what is it, 2065 or something? We might get them done. I don't know. I work on things, and I work on things, and then I don't work on them for a while. And You know, it just kind of keeps it interesting and fresh, and you don't get so bored, I guess. Let me get rid of my scissors. I like my new little uh, lamp I got. Not only does it have a plug-in that I can plug my light pad. I'm like, where did the damn needle go? Oh, my God. Let's spill them suckers again. They don't go very far if you can catch them fast enough. Oh, that one goes with the last color. But uh, it has a little pencil caddy in the front of it. Hang on just a second. I'll show you. Let me see if I can turn you around. And then draw you out. Whoop, went the wrong way. Let me get the light out of your face. But see, it has a little pencil caddy, and this is the plug-in. And it even has a um, USB port right there. So I don't know how that works. Haven't used that part yet. And then it has, like, the, the gooseneck thing to it. Hang on, we're going around again. Coming down. Sorry, now I've lost us completely. All right. Oops, i got to bring the light down. Boy, that's, like, right in my face. There we go. Now you can see what's going on. But, um, yeah, it was pretty cool how, uh, I don't know, remember her name. I cannot for the life of me. I'm terrible with names. I remember people's screen name f faster than I na remember their real name. Um, she uh, kind of came up. And around, I don't know how to explain it. Let me see. We'll see if we can do this. I'll try this right down in there somewhere. Whoops, I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. I'm trying to get to the edge, like, right here. So, hang on. She came up. And she um, split the thread, split the thread, hang on guys, this is so twisted, I don't know if I can get it, but, and I have no nails whatsoever, <coughs> dang it, sorry about that guys, oh come on, okay, so she twisted the thread, or opened it up, and then, so let's say you just put that bead down, and she came back up on the other side. Hang on, got to let you out a little bit. Oh, come on. Okay, can you see my fingers? Okay, so she split the thread. She came back up here and split the thread. And then she went back down on the other side of it. And you hold that in place. And it comes right around the outside of the bead. I thought that was pretty cool. But she didn't do that like for every um, one. You know what I mean? Uh, that was just kind of her beginning one. And I would probably do that like here where, the, like where they're outside all by themselves. Okay. Something's got to give here. i got to have some space. 
Hang on. Oh, good gravy. Just a little bit. Because now I'm way up here. So we're going to come down here. And I'll just do it real lightly and that way it doesn't bend. And then later on I cut it and tie it in a knot. If I go too far. But 9 out of 10 times it gets all stitched in there anyway. So I don't have to worry about it pulling anything if you just don't pull it really hard. Good Lord. It is so not my day for a camera. Hang on, guys. All right. Sorry we keep stopping and starting here. But this thing's a little rough to, to work on. I haven't decided what I'm going to do or how. I may even yet put it on the scroll thing. I'm thinking it might be easier that way. But, uh... Especially when you get up towards the middle of everything. It's kind of hard to have the tripod there. and I don't have a real extremely big tripod. It'll stand 50 inches tall, but that don't do me any good. So, hey, we just keep experimenting and sooner or later, it'll get there. There we go. But it's kind of hard to work around. I'll have to work on that. I may put it on the scroll. I, I don't know. I think it'll be okay. And then I could hold it in my lap and have the uh, camera in front of me. Which might be a little bit easier. So we'll try that next time. We'll see how it goes. I've, the scroll's over there attached to the the tall thing, but uh, I don't know, and I'm, I'm away from the edge now, so that should help it, I mean, that was half my problem with the, whoops, I missed the whole hole, um, oh, for pity's sake, with the other one, the stitching was all down here, so you had to get, like, like, that much done of it, so that it would roll up, and out of the way because it, it was just too far away I don't know it was a pain I kinda gave up on it but it, it's sitting over there I'm not gonna give it away or or throw it away I should say that, that's usually the way things go around here I just okay we're done yep that was a waste of money next but I just can't stand being hampered you know so we just keep trying different things. I keep seeming to get all the way up here at the top, and I want to be down here. So we're going to work on these orange. So let me get rid of this silly thread again. The, the space is so far in between that that's one of the, the disadvantages of it. I mean, if I was doing this by myself, it wouldn't be a problem. I'm not working around anything, but... Okay, so we're going to come down here. Oh my goodness. Hang on, guys. And we'll work right there on that green and that orange. And I made myself a new cheat sheet so that I know what is what. Whoop, I can put it down. I don't have to be so close. I write down the colors of what the, the square color is, and then I put the number that I have to go for. So, that makes it a whole lot easier. So, we'll see. But, uh, I wanted to have a little quick stitch with me today. And thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll know when my next video comes out. And y'all have a great evening and a great weekend. Bye-bye. God bless.